it's our daughter wouldn't sleep with us, but she slept with us, our bishop. Hello and welcome to Give a Dog a Bone here in Crusader Kings 3, which is an achievement run. We are going to turn on Iron Man. And the only rule change we have done is that we will have no character nudity because I really don't want to be demonetized. We are Duchess Matilda of Tuscany in the year 1066. It is, she is Italian. She is Catholic. We're doing an achievement where we have to get 50 dynasty members. We have to have a, our own holy order and we have to have formed the Kingdom of Italy. We are still just the Duchess though, so we're going to try and fix that. First off, let's get ourselves family focus. Sounds good. Excellent. We are thoughtful. We can work with that. Opinion game from Send Gift. I guess we'll go down the conquest route, the ducal conquest route. But first, we'll go for getting married. Let us find someone with a nice, pretty trait. How about... Ooh, there's a genius. Yes, good sir. Let us marry you. Marry me, please. And then we will put our bishop to work. Why don't we try and get a claim on Cremona? Sounds good. And we'll start working on culture converting at the same time. And we'll get started here. And this is excellent news. The emperor would like us to be his chancellor, which is quite spectacular. Because if we go take a look at... Oops. Look at our lieges council. We are the chancellor. We get lifestyle experience plus 20%. And then also because... No. No. No seducing me. We are a zealous woman. We will not step outside the bounds of holy matrimony. Also, why is our husband dressed the exact same as us? Husbands. Husband, my dear, don't you quite understand that um, that's my outfit? Apparently not. Apparently he just wants to copy us. But hey, we're pregnant, so I guess I can forgive him for that. He's worked very fast. But as I was saying, we do have plus 30% more experience in this lifestyle because we do have a diplomacy education. Um, sure, yes, we have a claim over here on Cremona. I am quite happy to see that. And we have had a genius daughter. Look at that. Her name is Augustus, my dear sweet girl. You are amazing. May you grow to be strong and wise. And we have started our war. We're charging on up here. He's got a lot of troops, but I don't care. I've got more troops. We're going to take down his capital. Hey, yes, let's befriend our husband. It's the thought that counts. Don't spend too much money on him. He'll understand. Yes, grab another claim. We're in debt, but that's okay because we're still going to win this war. We also have a lot of siege weapons because they are totally worth it. They don't help us win battles, but they do help us win sieges much faster, which is definitely a major perk. Excuse me, you locked away my husband. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I really don't. You were gonna murder your troops. And my knight's wounded. That's... I'm so sorry, dude. And another knight's wounded. Leave me alone. Let's just, you know... Why couldn't we capture our husband back? That would be kind of cool. I guess he got transported back to their capital, except their capital is taken over by me, so I don't know where he is. But he's not obviously here. We're sieging back our own capital. We will have it in a split second. Excellent. He's coming back down here. Hello, good sir. I'm going to capture you again and bop you on the head a few times. Excuse me. You're trying to seduce me? No, my heart remains pure. Do you not understand? I'm a zealous woman. I'm not going to go sleeping around on my husband. No, and he's too smart for that anyway. he would figure us out. And we have won this war, so let's enforce demands. So be it. Excellent. You know what? We could make ourselves celibate by trying to befriend this dude. The thing is, we're 26 years old and we only have one child. I don't think so. How about we make a large donation instead? What's a little debt? Because we need babies. Husband, give me babies. Now. All right, it's time to go beat up on little Pisa over here. He has no allies. He only has 159 troops or 49 troops, I'm sorry to say. We have over 3k. I'm sorry, dude. But your days are numbered. No, I'm... Oh. I'm sorry, little girl. I feel bad. And we were right to wait because, look at this, he lost a lot of troops. And he lost an ally who was really powerful, so we're totally going to declare war on him right now and raise all of our troops. Look at that. We've got almost 4k. We've got over 4k. We're going to war for policy, I believe, or was it Verona? I don't remember. Or we could totally just have him sleep with us and, you know, hopefully have another kid. Let's do that. And look at that. He got us pregnant. Good job, hubby. And would you look at that? We have an intelligent son. He's not a genius, which is sad, unlike his sister. 
but he is intelligent. We'll totally take him. And we have the name Giles, another lovely patron. Welcome. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. <gasps> no, Giles, you're sick. Please, hush now. Don't cry. Oh, no. I, maybe it's just because I have my own newborn baby, but this makes me very sad, this, this event now. It didn't ever bother me in CK2, but it really bothers me now. And we've won this war, so enforce demands, take it, there we go. And we're going to war with Lombardy once more because, you know, he's got land that we want. Yay, our son is no longer sickly. May you grow strong, young Giles. Yay. And look at this, we can spend a lot of money and then we will get a claim on all of Verona. Let's take it. Hostage, they took my son. You took my son. I, excuse me, excuse me, murder your troops. Why can't I recapture my son from you that way? That would be kind of cool, but no. Take back our capital, and then we will burn his lands to the ground. And we just gloriously defeated his army. Look at us bashing our shield. We're so proud of ourselves. End this war, and give me back my son. Imprisonment is a cruelty. He is too good to be in your dungeon. And look at this, we have another son. We have little Joseph. Oh, welcome, Joseph. May you grow to be strong and wise. You are also quick, or sorry, quick, intelligent. Not quite a genius like your father or sister, but you and your older brother are doing pretty darn well. And look at that, we have an intelligent daughter. She will be named Joshua. Welcome to the family, little Joshua. We will find someone wonderful for you to marry. May you grow to be strong and wise. Excuse me, peasants. I don't think you understand how this works around here. Crusader kings, deus volts. Let's go for a crusade to Jerusalem, I'm assuming. Yes, Jerusalem. Let's go, boys. Victorious crusade. St. George is with us. And sadly, we could not put a beneficiary because none of our kids were old enough. So someone else is now ruling here. All right, let's get to war with the Duchess of Piedmont here because we have a claim on her land. She is inferior. Let's go raise our armies. So this is frustrating. Our liege changed our laws. You put it up to three. Feudal. What? What? No. So we can't go to war with other vassals unless we have a hook on our liege. God damn it. I think it's time to get independence. We have 281% military power. And the Duke of Corinthia is in here. Who else is in here? Anyone else by us? Not really. The Duke of Normandy, because that happened. Look at that. Independence demands accepted. A wise decision, sir. Excuse me, Corinthia. You're inferior. Let's go. Let's dance, sir. And we have died. We found peace in Christ's embrace at 56 years of age. She died of natural causes. A zealous woman. She fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars in recent history. Duke Giles ascends to the throne. A craven coward. It is unlikely that his subjects will respect him. Play with our new dude. And now I cannot exit the game or the achievements become disabled. I sure hope they fix that bug quickly. And now it's time to go beat up on our brother. Since, um... You know, he has some of our land. He he took it from us, Duke Joseph. Raise our troops. Let's go beat him up. Yep. And we got an achievement for that bad blood because we're fighting our own brother. Who would have expected such a thing? Hey, and we have a daughter. All right. So next up on the naming list, we have Mason. Hello and welcome. We have a third daughter. Are you under us? I think no. We actually just took it from him. Poor Joseph, you have no land. Hey, right, we can invite you to court though, and then maybe we can give you some land. How about that? Would you appreciate that? And we have a son. Oh, named Giles? I would, I would do that, but we have another patron to give a name to. Hello, Oscar. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Was there anything special about you? I didn't even check that. Oh my God, you're intelligent and handsome. You are wonderful, Oscar. And look at that, we have a beautiful quick daughter named Brunswick. Welcome to the family. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. And we have another daughter. She's beautiful and intelligent, and we shall name her Nathan. Hello, little Nathan. Welcome to the family. And it's time to go to war with uh, Crane, which used to be Corinthia, because someone died or something, and uh, now they're vastly inferior to us. Let's go get the last county we need to form Italy, please. And let's take the last little bit of land. Very nice, so be it. Stand down, my lovely army. 
Let's go here. Let's go here. Kingdom of Italy. Create title. Walala, we are now a mighty king of Italy. And now we might want to join, rejoin the HRE, actually. If we can, because then we can uh, possibly be given the land that we're missing. Excuse me, Emperor. Emperor, we would like to swear fealty to you. Yes. And would you look at that. Italy has grown. Thank you, Mr. Emperor. You gave me the land I wanted. Now, sadly, I can't declare war on people. Oh, because I don't have a cast a spell eye. Oh, hmm, big brain here. Let's figure something out. First, though, we do need... Oh, we have hereditary rule. Ooh, 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 succession. Change, partition, everybody hates us. That's a problem. Um, too many duchies. Yeah, let's, uh, let's tidy things up, and then we'll see about changing partition, so we won't make any new kingdoms. What? The bubonic plague? No! Our sister has it. Who else has it? Alberto. This dude. People at our court have it. Uh, that's not good. Not good at all. And we have the bubonic plague. Princess Nathan has it. No. No. The time has come for drastic measures. Now she's wounded and disfigured. Great. And our wife's possibly cheating on us. Lovely. Wife? Wife. Everyone will know of your infidelity. It's time to murder you. Love will keep you warm in my dungeon while we try and murder you. Um, Joshua, you want me to go to war to press your claim against my own vassal here? No. Goodbye. I guess your beauty is now scarred and disfigured. Since we have survived the plague, let's go on a pilgrimage. Let's go to Jerusalem. We'll go into debt. It'll be Fine. Oh, our count had a baby with our wife. Mmm. What am I to do with this? Don't know, kid. But you know what? You know what? You will you will be released. You will take the no, I like your traits. We'll gain a wee cook on you. How about that? You can live quietly in my court, Constantino. I have no problem with you. I have a problem with your mother. We are well on our way to being a devoted servant and finding a holy order. We just need some money again. Oh no, Lamberto died! What happened? What will we do on the podcast now? And look at that. Everyone loves us. So we're going to switch to partition. Change law. Because we're nowhere near getting heraldry, are we? We are eight years away. Ooh, do we risk it? How old are we? We're 39. Let's wait. We'll wait. Till death do us part. Good riddance, wife. I would have liked to murder you, but we weren't able to do that scheme for some strange reason. And let's go find ourselves a new wife. How about this 23-year-old woman who's fecund fertility plus 50%? Look at that. All we have to do is send a gift to the Pope. He loves us. And then let's go check out Found Holy Order. Found Holy Order. Congratulations! Now all we need are 50 living members. We need 19 more. Look at that. We have an intelligent daughter. And I think I've run through all my patron names. Yes, I have. So, do we start again? Maybe we do. Um, I mean, we're missing a couple here. No, let's actually, let's leave her after our mother, Matilda. There we go. We have another Matilda. What happened to our daughter? She's become a leper. What? What's Brunswick? And we have another son, and he's uh, very good at making babies. We named Giles after ourselves. Quite lovely. Excellent. We have discovered heraldry, so let's go take a look at succession, changing. Hmm, what can we do? How much can we bribe you for? Uh, we don't have enough money to bribe you. You know what? She's actually quite terrible at... Uh, Marshall, but we're gonna put here here as the uh, Marshall, so she now has and high partition. Yes, and we can pick a legacy. Well, I know what we're going to do. Like, while it would make sense for our achievement to go with kin, I think we're gonna keep going with blood for our uh, congenital traits that we've been going with. Yes, you know why not? Why not become known for being wonderful, wonderful people to marry into? Let's seduce our wife. Maybe she'll make us more babies then. I love how Brunswick here is still beautiful, even though she's a leper. You know, what's the best way to grow the family? Sleep with your daughter. And our daughter is impressed by our uh, choice in Troubadour's performance. 
perfect. She will not be anything but my daughter. Um, okay. And our daughter's pregnant. No, our daughter Mason died. Also, our sinful act came at a cost. We lost a level of devotion. And there's now a bastard in the family, Nazarano, who is uh, intelligent and beautiful and handsome. Well, we failed to seduce our other daughter. And we slept with our daughter again. Let's go do the classic and sleep with our son's wife. A crusade for Syria. My warriors will be ready to fight. And this time we can actually appoint a beneficiary of our family. How about Princess Nathan? You gotta love this. Your son and grandson. Well, our daughter has finally said that she will no longer let us romance her and seduce her. Last for words, she kisses me quickly and slams the door in my face. Why should we care? Please, open the door. What? Our daughter wouldn't sleep with us, but she slept with the search. Bishop? Well then, has any one character successfully seduced ten people? Good for us. Time to murder our wife. She can't give us any more children. Even though she was very fertile, she only gave us two kids. So, um, yeah, it's time for her to go. And we did it, guys. We have 50 living members. Achievements. Give a dog a bone! Yes! Finally! Um, quite proud of that. Uh, you know, we'll have to go for restoring the Roman Empire at some point, too. But hey, we gave the dog a bone. We did a great job. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, well, you know, hang around to see more. See y'all next time. Bye, guys.